All right, I'm here with the Morgan Journal. Super far behind, which I am not a fan of. I'm to the point where I'm like three weeks behind now, which is obviously not what I want because God, it looks so gross and bulky. Can I look bulky like ripped instead or something? Ugh. But anyways, it's not what I want. I even said this before. I want to try to make the videos more often. But I've just been ridiculously busy. So for starters, our CFO... Well, hold on. For starters, <laughs> um, at work, I've basically picked up an entire additional position. <laughs> um, our CFO left on April 18th. Didn't really leave. I mean, it was the Thursday prior because then it was Good Friday. So that the 18th is a Monday. But anyways, that was the first day that she wasn't there anymore. So yeah, it became my job, and it was just for that, that that time for her to leave was just very poor timing too, because like you had the end of period that came up and all this nonsense, and it's like I gotta figure this all out now. But anyways, so that's one thing. I've just been super busy with work. I basically have two jobs now. I'm not the full on CFO. They didn't give me everything. I don't do payroll, I don't do anything with um, 401k, and for now, I'm not doing the periods. Um, they have the previous, previous <laughs> CFO, so the one that our last one re replaced so he could retire. He's back on like a contract type situation to help train me, and we also have an accountant that's just his own thing, his, his firm, he's not, he's not affiliated with our company um he's just a, a vendor i guess you could say but he's been there too but yeah for the most part i do the accounting stuff during the day like normal during the normal business hours and then i'm still responsible for the engineering which i do off hours so normal business hours for my company are until four so once four o'clock rolls around I jump off of accounting stuff and start doing engineering stuff. So yeah, I've been having long days, um, when I don't have Morgan at least, and I'm there until like 8, 9 o'clock, and then it's like I come home and I didn't realize my fork was in the way like that. <laughs> but anyways, I don't feel like coming home and uh, making videos, it's like I'm mentally drained from doing you know mental stuff all day engineering obviously is mental and then as far as the cfo accounting stuff that's um fairly mental it's a lot easier than the engineering but like i'm still learning there's a lot that i gotta learn with the software where everything is that i need to locate to do this and do that and do that um and then there's also just a lot to learn learn the vendor names and their shortcut names that they give like everything's abbreviated so learn the abbreviations some some vendors for some reason have like six seven accounts with us so then i gotta learn which one's which well why how do i know when to choose this one or that one or that one or that one i mean we have one i'll just say it, estee lauder i think we have what do we have? One, two, three, four, four, six, seven, eight. I think we have eight different, like, not accounts, but different options, I guess. You type it in in the software, Estee, and there's eight things that I can choose from. Well, how do I know who to choose and when and why? Like, you know, I don't know. So it's like that kind of nonsense I got to learn. There's Estee like that. There's um, there's Eversource like that. Eversource has six. Um, There's... Even the, the credit card, American Express, we got like three accounts just for American Express. So I, I, there's all that kind of nonsense I got to learn. It's not hard, but it's just, you got to understand why, you know? So yeah, and then if I leave work at 9, I don't get home until let's say 9.30, then I take a shower, now it's 10, and like, I'm beat mentally, and I just, I just want to relax, lay on my bed, maybe throw on a movie, or just browse something stupid like TikTok or Twitter or something, and then just go to bed. So, yeah, that's kind of why I'm way behind. Um, that's why I also kind of haven't really been making videos in general. Not that I don't want to, but I just, just don't really have the time. The other thing, because I wanted to do this video Friday. Right now it's Tuesday. <laughs> I wanted to do this the previous Friday. 
but it's because I got COVID. But the only problem with having COVID was it was making me tired, like, later in the day. I was fine during the day, but then, like, 4 o'clock would come around and I'd start getting really tired. So, again, I can't really make videos when the time that I normally make videos, uh, I'm tired <laughs> and I want to go to bed. The only reason I'm here now on a Tuesday at 10.30 in the morning is because, um, well, because of my stupid COVID, I'm out of work until tomorrow, Wednesday. Well, technically, I haven't even been out of work. I've been working second shift. Like, I went in on Sunday from, like, 3.15-ish until 10.15. And then I was there last night from about 5.15 to 9.15. I didn't put in that long yesterday because, one, I was tired. I mean, it's later. It had nothing to do with my being sick. It was just, you know, 9 at night. The second thing was... For the most part, I really didn't have too much to do with it. Um, one of the people that provide a lot of work to the accounting is in sales, you know, for, like, quotes and stuff. And she wasn't in Monday, so there was no new quotes or anything for me. There was a stack and a half of mail to go through, so that basically took up most of my time. I had to reconcile the bank as well, but that was pretty easy, too. There wasn't too... It was basically just checks that got cashed, and that's super easy to... So, yep, okay, okay, okay. So, luckily it was only four hours, but still, today I won't be able to work because I can't be there during the day, and uh, I could do second shift, but I got Morgan. So, if I go in, it's not going to be until way late, like 9.15 or something after I drop her off, and that's just stupid. I'm not doing that. I'll be there tomorrow, so whatever. Which I'll probably have to stay late tomorrow because now since I've been out for three work days, you know, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm sure there'll be a lot of nonsense. I know I've been there for second shift and I haven't seen nonsense, but the people haven't seen me. Once I'm back, I can guarantee the sales guy that I sit next to, he'll bug me for 9 million engineering projects and 2 million accounting projects. Um, I'm sure if someone else sees me, they'll have tons of nonsense for me. If the accountant or the previous CFO is there, they might come down and... Ugh. So I'm sure I'll have to do a late day tomorrow too. So I'll do a normal shift plus the extra crap at night. And I'll just be right back into that nonsense routine that I hate. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I ended up falling behind severely. Oh, and there was a week where I kind of had Morgan a lot. And I usually do these journals when she's not with me. So it kind of makes it hard to do it when... She's with me a lot one week, you know what I mean? Kind of defeats the whole purpose. Or whatever, not defeats the whole purpose, but it makes it so it's impossible. There you go. So, yeah. Um, I guess that's all I had for backstory. So, let's try to get into this. Where's my calendar? Star Wars. <laughs> um. So, I think, let me think about this. I was supposed to be off the week of the 18th for the kids. I had them Friday. So that would be one, two, and three. Today's the 10th, right? Yeah. Okay, so I think this goes, I have to start all the way back on... The 19th, <laughs> April 19th. Jeez, today is May 10th. I'm going back April 19th. That's a month ago. <laughs> Just about. Got some uh, low mane here in a uh, cool whip bowl. <laughs> it's like a Twitch streamer, you know? They just start eating. <laughs> yeah, I figure it's the Morgan Journal. Whatever. Nobody watches these, so. <laughs> but anyhow. So Tuesday, May 19. So, luckily I can slightly remember this because of the lead up to, um, you know, this week. So... On Tuesday, what happened was it was a little chillier out. So soccer was at the same field as it always is. Which is 
behind her school slash in front of or also behind the old high school but instead of being like in the closer to the high school they had it the practice was at a field that's closer to the not the middle school but what is that it's the school my daughter goes to but they have two elementary uh, elementaries there's one for kindergarten first and then one for second through fourth so it's close to the second through fourth school so anyways the whole point of that was because it was colder out this tuesday so the plan was um so like the parents could park and then you can see the field from there the other field you park and the field is kind of it's not far but it's not as practical if you parked there you wouldn't really see what's going on where this field you can park and see perfectly fine so we had that for practice um this week also was the um kids kids week off from school so no homework at least um Man, this is so far behind, I can't, I actually don't remember as much as I thought I did. Well, anyways. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think what I did on this day. Was this the day that I went to Burger King after? No. I don't know. There was one day we went to Burger King, and I didn't think she'd want to eat because she ate at her mom's. But then she was like, I, I just asked if she wanted anything, just in case. It didn't have to be food. She could have just wanted to get, like, ice cream or something. But she said, yeah, my usual. I said, you want to full-on eat even though you just ate at Mama's? <laughs> I can't remember if that was today, Thursday, or what. But anyways, I know afterwards we went home. And we had one of those situations where we start a movie, but there's not enough time to watch the whole thing because of stupid soccer. But what was it? Um, it wasn't the Goofy movie. I already talked about that one, right? Pretty sure I already talked about that one. Hmm. What else have we started? <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, I, I think the rest will go more smoothly as far as remembering details. Because Thursday... The 21st, we ended up, uh, well, same situation. I picked her up, went to the practice. The practice was at that field again. Not because it was cold, it's just, it's kind of where it is now. It just switched. We don't go down there, we go to that field, which is fine by me. It's kind of funny, too, because I, when, when soccer was first starting, I went to that field just because I didn't know where to go, and it was wrong. But now it's, like, the right field. <laughs> but anyways... Yeah, so we did that, and then, yeah, um, we, what did we do after? Well, I think I threw something on, like, Minecraft or something, because what happened was, we got home, I showered, she showered, and then we went back to our mom's, because I had to stay there, because... Her mom and her mom's husband are going on a year late <laughs> honeymoon, and they went to Las Vegas. So, um, yeah, they they were leaving at like I don't know one thirty in the morning or something. So I had to be there for the kids. Well, I guess I didn't have to be. They just asked if I would do it, and I agreed. So, but anyhow, yeah, I had to be there for the kids. So, this week was supposed to be my vacation week, also. I was just going to take the whole week off. But because our CFO left, and now that became my job, I had to go to work. So, the only day I ended up off with was Friday. The rest of the days, I had to work. But anyways, so, that was Thursday. Um, I had stayed up, but then I fell asleep, and I guess James got home, and the TV was on, but I was sleeping, and, uh, yeah, because then I ended up waking up, because I heard that he was taking a shower, 
And then I was like, what the heck am I watching? Why is the TV on? Why is he here? Why is the TV still on and he's here? How do I not see him come in? Like, I had all these thoughts in my head, and I was just like, whatever, screw this. I turned the TV off, and then just went back to sleep. <laughs> but anyways, then I was woken up shortly after that by Morgan's mom, because she was saying, oh, she's waking up. She woke up with an earache. Um, she was crying, so I gave her some, I don't know, Tylenol or some nonsense to make it feel better. And, um... Yeah, so then I'm thinking, come on, I don't have time for this. Like, I had a whole regimen planned out. I want my hand to be straight, but this is like a weird angle for me. But in the camera, if I do it straight, it looks stupid. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted a whole regimen. I had a whole, whole regimen planned out for what we could do, so that we, then we could make the next few days fun. And then I'm like, great, if she's sick, that just ruins all of it. Like, I even had my mom involved and stuff, and I was like, what, now I gotta cancel on people? So, yeah. Anyhow, though, on Friday morning, when we got up, the 22nd, apparently that's Earth Day, <laughs> she said that she didn't, her ear didn't hurt as much and stuff anymore, so I was like, okay, that's good, at least. Um, and then, we... Kids must have had cereal, right? I don't remember going out to get breakfast. So yeah, so they probably had their usual cereal. And we ended up leaving around, I don't know, nine-ish or so. And where did we go? I know what we did afterwards, but this was... Our plans were an afternoon plan. What do we do in the morning? Well, I know in the morning we went to a gas station to get some drinks. And the kids found an, a new um, Blue Raspberry Minute Maid. And they tried it and they liked it. They, I don't know, my daughter was saying it was like, oh, it's like soda, but without the bubbles, it's good. She still gets it too if we find it. So I guess she really did like it. It's not bad. I had one too. I don't think it's that great like she thinks, but it's not bad. Um, He got one too. <laughs> And then because I, had, my friend likes to try a lot of new drinks, just like I like to, I got one for her and brought it to her job. And then we headed back out after there from her work and went to, I feel like we went to GameStop and Target. And then, actually, yeah, we did. Did they get anything at GameStop? Oh, yeah, they, they didn't get anything at GameStop because they were playing the demo the whole time. They played uh, Mario Kart and they played um, Mario 3D World, whatever it is, with the Bowser's Inside Story. I don't know. They're playing that two player, but they really liked it. Um, and then we went to, like I said, Target. Did we get anything at Target? Oh yeah, I got them one of those trainer kit boxes, um, the ones that have like, you know, three, four, diff uh, three packs of cards in it, and there's like the, the manuals that tell you how to play the game. I got one of those because they've been getting into Pokemon and collecting cards themselves, so I thought, well, this could be cool, they could play the game. Um, it makes it very easy too, because basically the booklets tell you... <laughs> The cards are in a certain order, and the booklet just tells you step by step with those cards in that same order. This is what you do. So, makes that easy for them to learn. Anyhow, what time would it be now? I'm trying to think. Did we stop and get lunch anywhere? Like, I feel like we had to have, but I don't fully We had to have, but what? I don't remember. I guess we would have went somewhere stupid like Burger King, though, if we did. I just don't remember. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so, actually. Because they would have had, like, a Happy Meal toy or something. I don't know. Anyway. Afterwards, we went to my mom's to pick her up. And it had to be later because we are waiting for somebody else to come along to go do something with us actually i say go to my mom's to pick her up we didn't pick her up the other person we we're waiting for picked her up so she went with that person 
And well, actually they followed me because the person that was driving didn't know where to go, even though I was thinking, well, my mom knows, so like she can just tell you. But whatever, they followed me. And we went to Chuck E. Cheese. So how long did we spend there? I always get the cards with the minutes, so I think we ended up with 72 minutes. So we did that. And um, then after, and then the kid, man, Culliver, at Chuck E. Cheese, first off, he was kind of boring. He didn't really do too much. He didn't, I don't know what to play. Like, Morgan goes and she runs around and just keeps going. Him, he's like weird about it. I'm like, bro, how do you not know what to do? You're a kid. The whole point of this place is where a kid can be a kid and all that. And you don't know what to do right now? And then he kept going to the bathroom 15 million times. And I'm like, come on, kid. Dang it, just go when I bring you. Take a huge jump. Let all your pee out. <laughs> Why do we got to keep going back three times? I mean, I got to hold my hand in a weird way. Three times. It was like, come on, kid, stop. <laughs> Just get it all out in one try like a normal person. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, when they're done playing the games and you can redeem your tickets. Nowadays, it's not even tickets. It's just points on the card. But, uh. The person asked if you want to combine them. She asked Morgan. She said, yeah. And then she said, just give us a bunch of candy. A bunch of mixture of candy that pays that off. So that's what she kind of has been doing recently. Anyways, when we go, she just says, give me candy. <laughs> Anyhow, after Chuck E. Cheese, there's an Arby's fairly nearby. So we went to Arby's. And... I think they took forever on my mom's food there. I'm pretty sure she ordered... No. was it? Maybe it was us. I don't know. They took forever on one of us. I don't remember who. But anyways. While we were there, Morgan's sickness, whatever she had, started to come back. Whatever she had in the night started to come back. And then I thought it was maybe because we went to Chuck E. Cheese. So, like, she was running around instead of just resting. So, it kind of, like, you know, spiked it. But yeah, she was kind of like this and eating slow and started to cough again. And oh, I don't, my ears starting to hurt a little. And I'm like, oh, come on, dang it. Like, obviously she can't control it. I didn't mean dang it, like getting mad at her. I just meant in my head. I'm like, no, this is supposed to be like a fun little weekend. So, yeah. Um... So after, well, actually, while we were at Arby's, I also got, we were there between two and five, which is when they have like their happy hour thing and they get the dollar menu options available. So I just got the whole crew a um, snack size shake. They're only a dollar and there was only what, five of us? One, two, three, yeah, only five of us. So that's five shakes, five bucks, whatever. That's practically an ice latte right there. So one iced latte or five shakes. Then I quickly went over to the mall. There's a mall across the street. I just wanted to go look in GameStop for something. I forget what now, but there was something specific I was looking for. They didn't have it, so then we left and we just went home. Well, home. Went back to her, her mom's house. <laughs> um, when I got there, I said... So Morgan was sick, and I, I know how it is when you're sick. You don't want to take a shower. You don't want anything. So I said, okay, just get home, get your pajamas on, and just relax. And as far as the boy, they got some weird schedule on her mom's. I don't know. It's like even days, one kid showers first, odd days, the other one. I don't it, 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 It's ridiculous. But anyways, um, I uh, told him, okay, when we get home, just get your dang shower going. Because I had plans to throw on a movie for us. It was Hotel Transylvania Transformia. That's the one that was supposed to be in theaters. And then they changed it to like Amazon Prime only. Which is pretty stupid. But yeah. So that was the plan to watch that. Well then he's like it's too early. I'm not showering now. And I'm like yeah you are. Mom doesn't have us do it this early. And I was like okay well your mom's not here. You're with me. We're not doing anything else. We're going to be home for the night because sis is sick. So stop trying to argue. Just when we get home, take a dang shower. 
we don't have to make this an issue. I have plans for us anyways, so that we can watch a movie. Ay ay ay. It happened, I mean, because he's only like almost seven, so, you know. It's not like he's really gonna argue tooth and nail, but it's still annoying that he tries. Like, just. I know what I'm talking about. Just do it. You're with me. I'm the one responsible for you now. So. So, anyhow. He took his shower and then she came out and laid on the couch and uh, had a blanket with her because she was cold. You know, her sickness was giving her chills, I guess. And uh, we watched Transformia, which um, wasn't bad, but it wasn't as good or cool as I thought it was going to be. In the, um, when I saw the trailer in theaters back, you know, last year or something. I looked around because what are these dumb little blobs that are always floating around? There was just a big one right over here. I always notice this in my videos when I record myself. There's always stuff floating around. I don't see it in real life, but then it's like it's there in the camera. Like, what the heck was that? That gigantic, there was nothing there. It was, it looks like I had some giant lint ball just fly by, but there was nothing there. So weird. Anyways. Um. So yeah, then after the movie. Hold on. Was it this day? This might have been the day too when snack time came and they asked for snacks. And I said, yeah, whatever, it's your snack time. Which is 7 o'clock. And then I think Morgan was getting into snacks too. And I didn't say anything but I was thinking, I thought you were sick and cold, but you still want to have snacks? <laughs> Anyhow, so yeah, then after the movie, I had them brush their teeth and go to bed. Largely because their mom also is ridiculous. She just ugh, spies the whole time. The whole entire time they're on vacation slash a honeymoon, she had to call and check in on them. Um, they have watches that are, like, linked up to her phone. So she knew when, I think it was Cullen's phone was uh, dead. She knew it was dead and texted me, I'll have him charge that. Um, she also has cameras so apparently she was like spying on the cameras because well I'll get to this in the future because this actually happened on Sunday and I'm still only on Friday but yeah it was just like <coughs> aren't you on vacation slash a honeymoon like what the jeez stop worrying about what's happening here I got this it's fine ay 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 But yeah, so, anyways, that was another thing, too. I'm just like, go to bed, because I don't feel like dealing with your mom spying in the cameras or whatever and seeing that you're still up. Like, it's such a big deal. It's the weekend. Come on. But anyway, it's not like they went to bed super early, either. I mean, the movie was probably over around 9-ish. So. And then, obviously, I stayed up and threw something on. And then, yeah. So now, Saturday. Saturday, I was able to get off the hook with the kid, with with Colleen, <laughs> because um, she had set it up so that um, one of her friends was going to take him for the day. So she came, uh, I think she came like 9.45 or something to pick him up. And, uh, she came with two other kids that were her nephew and niece or something like that. I'm trying to think. Morgan said something funny about the kids. See, I was casually judging. There was a boy and a girl, and I was judging the boy. Not really judging him, but I was just looking at him and confused because his body looked like a kid. Like a little kid, like eight or something. But his face looked like, like, close to teen, like a 13-year-old. He had, like, a 13-year-old face and, like, an 8-year-old body. And I was like, what the heck? You don't match yourself. It's kind of weird. You're, like, young man there, but little kid everywhere else. <laughs> so, anyways, that's what I was thinking. And then Morgan said, what did she say? She said something goofy, too, after they left, though. But she was talking about, because they were kind of husky, the kids. Actually, they were all husky, because the friend is husky, too. And I think... So I think she said something like, um, he doesn't fit in because they're all, she just said fat. They're all fat and he's just really skinny or something stupid like that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, apparently they went off to the theaters. They went to, um, Sonic 2, which 
we did that the weekend prior. But yeah, they went to Sonic 2, and they went to uh, the park and stuff. But anyways, what did we do? Um, I didn't stay there, since I didn't have clean and stuff. I was just taking it as a normal Saturday. Oh yeah, her game. She still had her game. Actually, that was her first game, and of course, so she has to go to her game. It's her first one. So yeah, here she is sick, and I'm like, dang, damn it. Well, sick-ish. That's right, too. Her mom had uh, called or something, talking about on Friday. Oh, you have to try to set up an appointment with her to go to the doctor's on Saturday. So get the phone number and call. You got to call. Just keep calling and see if they can fit her in on Saturday at all. And I was like, I'm not doing that. I didn't say that, but that's what I was thinking. And I didn't do it. That's stupid. She's fine. She just has something. It wasn't even serious. It, it, she's fine during the day and then gets a little sick at night. Like, but then, nope, we still have to go to the soccer game. Because I said, I think what needs to happen is she doesn't need to go to the doctors. We just need to skip soccer and let her relax. Nope. Can't do that. Oh, she has to go to her game. Okay. And, of course, it was kind of chilly out, too. Luckily enough, though, she was kind of bundled up. Plus, she was the goalie, and they cut these big mitts. So I was like, okay, she's kind of got, like, gloves on. That helps. Plus the penny. Granted, pennies aren't adding anything. But still, it's another something on her body <laughs> to be, like, dressed. <laughs> Anyways, first game went very badly. I thought they lost 5-1. to one. She claims they lost 7-1. to one. In any case, she was the goalie and let up a lot of points. She didn't let them all up. I think she let up, like, majority of them. So if there was five points, she let up three of them. And if there were seven points, then she let up four of them. But, yeah, she did terrible as a goalie. <laughs> Which is weird because when she was goalie before, she was actually pretty good at it. So, I don't know. Maybe she's just rusty. Maybe as the season goes on, she'll get better at it. But, yeah, it was terrible. They lost badly. I mean, the, the the ball was always at our net. The other team always had it at our net. You, so when the net, when our goal was down there, I mean, you never could see them playing because they're way on the other side of the field. But then um, uh, at halftime, they switch. So then you saw everybody down here the whole time because... <laughs> do after i know i did keep it pretty simple the plan was to hang out for the most part at home but uh that's not exactly what we did what did we do though after her game did we go to walmart there is a walmart nearby we might have went to walmart because i'm sure i needed some kind of supplies like milk or something Um, oh yeah, we did go to Walmart, I remember, because then her mom called while we were at Walmart, and she's like, what are you doing? We're at Walmart, and then after I hear, I thought your dad said that you're supposed to just be hanging out at home and you're going to Walmart, and she called when we were in the toy aisle. I think she picked something out too, if I recall correctly, what did she get? She got like a, uh did she pick? It was probably just one of the basic things she always gets, out some kind of LOL thing. That's really all she ever picks. Um, what else did we get, though? I know we went to Walmart for a purpose. It's almost coming back to me now. It was a list of four things, but then we ended up leaving with, like, um, 4,000 things, because, then, you know, while you're there, you see stuff, and then it just kind of piles up, and it's like, well, so much for my original list of four. I don't know. Anyways, after Walmart, what did we do? We... Uh... Okay, yep. It's slightly coming back. I still don't fully remember. Oh, come on, what did we do at Walmart? Uh, because I know, I know before we went to my place, I did go back to her mom's. Because we had stuff to drop off, and I figured might as well just do it. I have a key right now, so <laughs> I have access to just do this. What was it? 
Well, I know we went back so she could drop off her soccer bag. That way then we could just get rid of that. No need to keep it in my car for the rest of the day. We went back to drop that off. Then we went there to... What else did we drop off? I can almost remember. I feel like it was the Pokemon game, but I had Colleen when we got that. He was holding it the whole time in the store. So it wasn't that. Did I buy drinks? I might have bought drinks for myself while I was there. So I dropped off some of those in the fridge. Um, what else though? There was definitely something that she got or that I got for her, but I wanted it to be for there. So we just dropped it off. I don't know. I know we dropped some stuff off. <laughs> going on oh wow my bowl's making a glare that's weird where can i put this though i don't want to hold it anymore i can't really eat it though because like i'm doing bad at storytelling as it is never mind i'm trying to eat and do a storytelling session <laughs> um yeah i don't know so we dropped some stuff off and then we i think from there we just went back to my place right I'm trying to remember I thought I had these details more on point than I do. I actually barely remember anything. Saturday. We didn't go to a movie, did we? No. I feel like we did do something, though. Did I do something with my mom? Mm, no. Not that weekend, I don't think. No, no, because I was with her Friday. Yeah, so we didn't do anything Saturday. Um, I know we did something. What was it, though? Dag nabbit. I think it was something with one of my friends, actually. But I still can't fully remember. Maybe they came over? Nope. Uh... Maybe they came over. Do, do we have a movie on? Oh, yeah, okay. So we started Jurassic... We started the Jurassic Parks also, by the way. I don't remember which day we started. That could have been the Tuesday that I was talking about. I know it wasn't Thursday. We didn't do anything Thursday. We went to soccer. We came home. We took care of business, like showering and stuff. And then we went back. So Tuesday we might have started Jurassic Park. Or it could have been Saturday. We could have started Jurassic Park Saturday. We may have watched one and two, actually. We might have watched one earlier and then two later. I feel like we had Chinese as well on Saturday. Possibly while we were watching Jurassic Park 2. Jurassic The Lost World. What would the friend have done, though? The friend came over. If they came over, they would have brought food. I don't know. I thought I remembered this way better because it was a memorable week, but apparently not, now that I'm trying to talk about it. Anyways, we ended up staying here because there was really no need to go back to her place. So we stayed here. And, um... Yeah, and then the next day, Sunday... Um, I woke up, I don't know, maybe 9.45 and turned my phone on. And there was a message from the person that had Culliver saying, Oh, do you mind if I drop him off around 10? And I was like, dang, nabbit. <sighs> I just woke up. And I was like, yeah, I guess that's fine. Because I knew it was my responsibility this week, so what are you going to do? And then like five minutes later, they're knocking at the door. And I'm like, what the heck? What were you doing? Like, were you just like, sitting around somewhere just waiting for me to answer? <laughs> Like, what if I didn't wake up till 10.30? You would have just been sitting somewhere just waiting. <laughs> but yeah, so originally my plan was when he came back, I thought, okay, we, we would need to get dressed and get out of here as quickly as possible. Because um, he's not really disrespectful in the sense of, like, touching my things and stuff, which is nice. Chuck actually does that, which is almost ironic, because it's like, well, at least he's my nephew, I guess. It's better than, like, if Colleen was doing it. Like, hey, leave my stuff alone, kid. But still, um, 
He's not like that, but the problem with him, though, is that I live on a third floor apartment. So obviously, there's neighbors below me. And my floors creak like nobody's business. And they make me super nervous because I don't understand woodworking and, and architectural integrity and all that. Yeah, I do engineering, but I do engineering with steel. <laughs> I don't do engineering with wood. And so when my floors creak viciously and it makes me nervous. Like, is this something to worry about? Like, are my floors just going to cave one day out of nowhere? I don't know. And um, so anyways, this kid, though, is just too rowdy. He's used to how he grew up with his mom. Like, her apartment was a duplex. And the people on the other side were basically never there because they were kids. They were, you know, young 20s. And so they were never home. So basically, it was just them on their side, and obviously, downstairs is just a basement, if you're banging around downstairs. So, you know, he never really had to worry about that. And then now, they got a house, so it's the same thing. It's, it's nobody, it's just them. So if he's acting like a retard, it's just them. You're not affecting anybody else. And, you know, they have, like, sturdy floors, if you will. They don't have to worry about violent creaks and stuff like I have. So, yeah, he's jumping around. He, he he has that tendency to do that. Like, he'll sit on my couch or something on his knees and then just slide off and just drop to the floor. Well, obviously, you're putting your knees into the floor. And I'm like, kid, dang it. I got neighbors downstairs. And dangerous floors. I don't need you to be breaking it because you're just slamming your whole weight. I mean, he's not heavy. He's like 50 pounds. But still, you know. So that's why my plan was to get going right away, because I was like, yeah, I don't want to deal with this. But we ended up staying here until about 1, I think, because what I did was I threw on the switch and it just worked. <laughs> they were completely fine playing that. I'm trying to think. I think we might have started with Minecraft. Actually, I think we started with a movie first, because we had just gotten up, so she was eating her cereal and stuff. But what movie did we watch? Um, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure we did watch a movie because now I remember he kept trying to brag about Sonic, but we already saw it. So he was trying to brag like, "Ooh, I saw Sonic, sissy," but it was like, "Yeah, we saw it two weeks before you, bro." <laughs> and we got posters and comics when we went. You didn't. So what's up, call? <laughs> But yeah, um, this is weird because I keep thinking of my weekend with Chalk, which was further back. Why can I recall that better than I can recall this weekend? I keep thinking the movie we watched was Space Jam because that's the one he wanted to watch. No, that was Chalk. He chose Space Jam because he wanted to watch that. What did we watch with Colleen? I don't think we watched Jurassic Park with him. We watched... What the heck did we watch? I don't know. We threw something on. And then after that, we played the Switch. And I don't... I, I think we played Minecraft for a little bit. Well, actually, I think there was no intention on changing the game. But then he mentioned Mario Kart or something. Because of when he played it at GameStop on Friday when we were there. And I was like, oh, you want to play that? Because I have it. So I was like, want to play that? So then they played that two-player. And then I was sitting here getting bored because they just kept playing and playing and playing. So then I have another controller. So I added myself in and we played a couple of rounds. And then something happened why we stopped. Either they were getting bored or I was getting bored or I just wanted to get going. Maybe I was getting hungry. I don't know. Some reason we stopped. And then, yeah, that's when we left around, I think it was around 1, maybe 1230. Um... this was what, what day is this now sunday okay so what we do from there we went and so let's see for starters i do remember i was supposed to get dinner with a friend and they said i don't care if you get the boy with you too it's fine but they never hit me up see see that crap right there what was that there's nothing behind me there's crap right there. There's nothing there. 
Wait, am I looking too high? Yeah, I'm looking too high. I gotta look down. Maybe that's why I don't see it. I'm looking in the wrong direction like an idiot. Anyways. But yeah. So. All that crap. Do you see that? What is, what is that? But anyways, yeah. So. They never hit me up though. So that didn't happen. So what do we do instead? I'm trying to remember. Because I don't recall. <laughs> I don't recall too much trash or anything. Something right in front of me. Where? Where? There's nothing in front of me. I don't know. What did we eat? Obviously we ate. Probably lunch and dinner. So what the heck did we have? What did we do all day? Like, this is only 12.30 right now. What did we do? <laughs> Was it raining or something? I don't even remember the weather. Hmm. Did we go anywhere? Um, I remember later. I can't remember... I can't remember the in-between. I just remember later. When did we get back to their mom's? Would have been... When did we get back to the mom's? Because I'm trying to think... I know the events that happened later. What the heck led up to that? I don't know. What did we eat? They have stuff there. Did we make anything there? I don't think we even made anything there. I just left their stuff alone and just went out. Um, what did we do, though? I feel like we got pizza or something, but I don't remember from where. If we did get pizza. Oh, okay. Hold on. Something's coming back to me. Okay, so... Sunday after we left here. That's what we did. We, we went to Wendy's. I was going to go inside. I wanted to go inside. But for some reason, everything was fine when we were here. And they were playing the game. Everything was fine. And then as soon as we got in the car, they start like, nagging at each other and bickering. And it was like, what the heck happened? You were completely fine at my apartment. Ironically, because this is the place that I didn't want to be. Because I thought it would be a problem. And it was actually smooth sailing. And then as soon as we get in the car, they start bickering with each other. So... My plan was to go to Wendy's, and I wanted to go inside and sit in the lobby. But no, they were acting like idiots, getting at each other's throats, and I was like, yeah, I'm not dealing with this. So we just went in the drive-thru. And then I took, and then I think we just went straight to their mom's. I took the back roads there. Um, a, diff a slightly different route of back roads than I normally would do. Just because it's closer to where the Wendy's was. Oh, yeah. What happened with the trash then? Maybe I just stole the trash. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. That kind of reminds me of something too. Trash. One of these days when I had trash, I came here to drop it off because I have recycling. They don't recycle. Everything just goes in the trash there. And I don't like that. So I had recycling. Maybe that was just Friday though. No, was it Friday? No, it wasn't Friday, because that's when Morgan was six, so we just beelined it here. What the heck day would it have been, then, that this would make any sense? I don't know. One of the days, though, I like, we made a super quick pit stop just so I could throw stuff away in the recycling rather than throwing it in the trash at, at their mom's. Well, yeah, that same day, I came here to drop stuff off from maybe when I went to Walmart? I don't know. Man, I, made, I did a lot of weird trips back and forth to make it work. <laughs> but it, it, was, it wasn't it was trips back and forth just to waste time. It was to, it was part of the process. I can't fully remember what, when, or why. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Back to Wendy's. Yeah, so then we went to her mom's. I, I We must have just thrown that away. Because I don't think we went to Wendy's, came here to throw stuff away. Actually, we could have just left the trash in the car. Maybe that's what we did. Left it in the car. That way then I could recycle it later. <laughs> Which actually would have been much later because we slept over there on Sunday. And then Monday, I brought them to school, went to work, and then came back to them. So yeah, I didn't get to throw that away until Monday afterwards. But still. Anyways, um... <coughs> 
what happened in between there now? So we left here till three. We, we must have got to her mom's at like two. So what the heck did we do that whole time? We weren't outside. We didn't watch TV the whole time. And it's only like two o'clock. I don't know. There's definitely something that I'm forgetting. There's something in that span because all I can remember is later, like five ish. Yeah. So they had busted out their that Pokemon game board that I bought, and they were playing that together. And um, I was I actually had brought some work home with me, some of the accounting stuff, and you have to match up packing slips with invoices. So I was doing that, and that took me like two hours to do. That's because the system, eh, ay, ay, ay. it's just a mess. The packing slips and the invoices just get shoved into a folder. They're not alphabetical. They're literally, literally just as they come, boom, launched in there. So that's what took forever. I have to alphabet, alphabetize one of them. I did the, I think I did the invoices. So then as I found packing slips, I knew at least where to look if we had a matching invoice. Yeah, so I matched up as much as I could. And yeah, that was like two hours. Then after that, um, I needed them to get hustling. So I think I let Morgan get off the hook from taking a shower again, just because I know she did with me on Saturday. And uh, I had him take his shower though. And I'm like, come on, hurry up because you know, the movie, we wanted to watch a movie. There was a movie, what the heck was it called? Um, what was it even about now? <laughs> I think the only thing I can remember about it is I think it was a mixture of, like, Ron's Gone Wrong and Mitchell's vs. the Machines. It's something on Netflix. I think it's Netflix exclusive. What the heck was it called? What was it about? I don't know. It was decent, though. But anyways, yeah. So by the time everything was said and done, it was like 8 o'clock when we started this. And like I said, with her mom spying, she must have spied on the cameras and saw the kids were up. Because then she texts me, why are the kids still up? And I'm like, we're watching a movie. And that's when she calls. And she's like, it's Sunday though. It's a school night. They gotta go to bed. And I'm like, oh, god damn. It's so annoying, these stupid cameras. So yeah. I was like, well, I can try to ignore her, but with these cameras, she's still going to see that I'm ignoring her, so I have to make the kids go to bed, even though I thought that was stupid. The way I see it, anyways, is, yeah, her thing is, oh, 8 o'clock, but I'm like, when Morgan's with me on Tuesdays or Sundays, which that was my weekend, that should have been my weekend, like, we, um, stay up until nine anyways that's when i have to bring her back so i'm like why do you make the kids go to bed at eight that's stupid you know because even when i bring morgan back colleen's still up he comes over to say good night to her and stuff so i'm like i don't understand what the point is why they can't just stay up till nine just make nine the bedtime makes more sense on a practical on a practical like everyday basis you know what i mean but anyways yeah so i was like this is stupid. I'm not trying to give in to our dumb nonsense, but the camera's right there in the TV room that she can... There's one in every room, too, which is very uncomfortable. I don't like that. It's weird. You know, when she first got the cameras, that made sense. There was two. There was one in the kitchen, one in the li in the living room. And the whole point was because we had a babysitter. And so the point of the cameras was just in case. And then now she's got this house. And there's literally, literally a camera in every room. There's a camera in the kitchen, a camera in the living room, a camera in each bedroom, theirs included. I don't know why she needs a camera in their bedroom, too. It's weird. There's a camera in the basement that looks towards the basement door, which, okay, I can understand that one. Say there's a break-in or something, then at least you have potentially some kind of um, visual on what the person looks like that broke in. But still, it's, it's another camera, six, and then there's one in the playroom so that makes seven seven dang cameras it's like the only room that doesn't have one is the bathroom for now and if i'm not mistaken 
I thought she was talking about potentially putting one in there too. And I was thinking, what? You can't put one in the bathroom? Come on, that's like in stores. They can't put them in bathrooms for a reason. It's not in there yet though. So that's still good. But geez, it's like, I don't know. It's just weird and creepy. It's like way to give your kids potential like um, privacy. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? complexes privacy complexes when they're older <laughs> because of you spying on them so much now jeez it's so weird i don't like it like i said the one in the kitchen yeah that's cool i get it because it faces at the door so say you had a break in well now you have something on camera but the one in the tv room you don't need that anymore why do you need a camera staring at you while you're watching tv that's so weird or in every bedroom why the whole point of a bedroom is a place for privacy anyways. It's like, it's so stupid because it's like now, I mean, Morgan's still a kid, but say she, when she gets a little bit older, if she's like mad at her mom, wants to just go in her room and just kind of hide and have privacy. She can't even do that. She can shut her door and yet her mom can just go on her phone, boop, be staring right at her. <laughs> it's just like, this is weird and screwed up. But yeah, so anyways, the stupid camera. So we didn't get to see much of the movie. I mean, we literally saw maybe 10 minutes of it. So yeah, now Monday. Monday was pretty basic for the most part. We got up and went. I brought them to the school like I always do. Went to work. But then I had to leave work 15 minutes early just so that I could get to their place on time to get them off the bus. Um, when I got them off the bus, we... Where did we go get? Oh yeah, we just had pizza. I ordered a pizza from uh, Domino's. Did I get just one or did I get two? Oh yeah, I got two. Got a boring cheese one. <laughs> and then the usual pepperoni, sausage, all that nonsense Morgan gets. And then we went to the gas station so that then they can see if they had those blue drinks that they liked. Which I th think they did. So yeah. And was that it? Pretty sure that was it. We just went and picked that stuff up. And then we went back to the house. So that we could eat and they could do their homework. And I was trying to encourage them. Like, come on, hustle. You got to get this done. That way then we could watch that dang movie. So they did that. Um, I think they both had showers. Yeah, they probably both did. Had showers. And then we watched that movie. Um, whatever it was called. I think we started at like 7 or so. 6.45, so there'd be enough time. And originally, uh, they were telling me that they were going to be back from Vegas around like 10-ish at night. But they ended up being way earlier. They got there at like... 8 15 which works for me gives, gives me enough time to get home and get settled in back to like my regular routine um one thing though that was pretty stupid is her mom had texted me saying oh tell the kids that they can stay up till 8 30 just go in their rooms and watch tv in there well they were the movie had basically just ended around 8, and then they were brushing their teeth and stuff. And so, yeah, when they got home, um, they weren't in their rooms, obviously, because they were brushing their teeth. And then they ran out into the kitchen and, oh, hi, Mom, and for call of our dad, for Morgan James. <laughs> and then the first thing her mom says is, like, why are you guys up? And it was like, what? First off... You said that they could be. <laughs> Second off, even if you didn't, if they heard that you're here, I'm sure they would possibly be excited and want to come say hi. You've been gone since Friday super early morning. Like, what a weird reaction. <laughs> and it's not even like it's that late. It's 8.15. Again, think about if she was with me on a Sunday or a Tuesday. She's out until 9. So what the heck difference does it make? Calm down. <sighs> anyways yeah then that's about it 
Oh yeah, Morgan actually wanted me to sleep over. She, she wanted me to try to sleep over again on that Monday. And I was like, what? Why am I going to do that? That's weird. Like, I've been sleeping over just because there's a purpose. It's because I got to watch you guys. But I'm not going to sleep over for no reason. But she was like, I don't know. Then you can get up with us in the morning when you bring us to school. I was like, yeah, but it'll just be a normal day now. Like, I don't need to... What? <laughs> I didn't do it. That's just weird. They were back too. Like, why am I going to sleep over when they're back? It's weird. Yeah, but anyways, that's it for that week. Um, this has gone on long enough just trying to remember the vacation week, basically. So yeah, I'll have to make another one, as I normally would have. And it'll just be for two weeks, I think? Let me see. So um, now I'm up to the 25th. So this will be for Tuesday the 26th, which I don't remember. <laughs> up to... Oh, actually, I slightly remember it. Up to, actually, I do remember that. Okay. Yeah, okay, cool. Tuesday the 26th up to um, May 8th, Mother's Day, my, my weekend. So what is that? That's Tuesday the 26th right there. One, two. Yeah, that's just two weeks like normal. So, okay. Whew! Oh, told that one. Said see ya.